गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मोहम्मद जुनेद सिद्दीकी वेलकम इन द ब्रिज डिज़ाइन एंड इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट दिस इज द सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑफ डिज़ाइन ऑफ पोस्ट टेंशन प्री स्ट्रेस्ड कॉन्क्रीट आई गर्डर स्लैब ब्रिज डेक इन दिस लेक्चर वी लर्न हाउ टू डिज़ाइन द टू वे डेक स्लैब ब्रिज दिस इज द न्यूमेरिकल विच ऑलरेडी वी आर डिस्कस्ड इन द लेक्चर वन दिस इज द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द ब्रिज दिस इज द टॉप व्यू ऑफ द ब्रिज इन द लेक्चर वन वी ऑलरेडी ऑप्टेंड द डिज़ाइन मूवमेंट्स एंड शेयर फोर्सेज फॉर टू वे डेक स्लैब ब्रिज इन अ शॉर्टर स्पैन वी ऑप्टेंड द मूवमेंट एज फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री किलो न्यूटन मीटर एंड इन द लॉन्गर स्पैन वी ऑप्टेंड द मूवमेंट एज थर्टीन पॉइंट एट थ्री किलो न्यूटन मीटर एंड द डिज़ाइन अल्टीमेट शेयर फोर्स इज नाइन्टी design of deck slab and reinforcement so effective depth of slab required so d is equal to under root of mu divided by 0.138 fck into b so whereas the shorter span movement is 53.3 kN meter and the grade of the concrete is 25 so we obtained d required as 124.3 mm in a lecture 1 already we have adopted the overall depth of the slab as 250 mm so using 12 mm diameter bars will provide effective depth as 220 mm since d required is 124.3 mm as well d provided is 220 mm so hence this depth provided is safe next for reinforcement we need the percentage of steel so for that mu divided by bd square so mu is 53.3 kN meter b is 1000 mm d is 220 mm so mu divided by bd square we obtained as 1.1 using m25 grade concrete and fe415 hsd bars from the sp16 table 3 page number 49 will get percentage of steel corresponding to 1.1 mu by bd square and fe415 steel as 0.322 so percentage of steel obtained here is 0.322 so 100 into ast divided by bd so ast is equal to 0.322 into b value as 1000 d value is 220 divided by 100 so ast is 708.4 mm square now using 12 mm diameter bars for shorter span will get the spacing as 150 mm center to center so corresponding to that spacing will get the ast provided as 754 square mm similarly for the longer span will provide 10 mm diameter bar and will get the spacing as 150 mm center to center here will get the depth of the slab is safe as well ast in the slab we obtain in longer as as well in shorter direction now next is a check for ultimate flexural strength so mu is equal to 0.87 fy ast into d 1 minus ast fy divided by bd into fck so mu is equal to 0.87 into fy as 415 ast provided is 754 d provided is 220 One minus seven fifty four into four one five divided by thousand into two twenty into twenty five. So we'll get here MU as fifty six point four eight kilonewton meter, which is resisting moment, and the applied moment is fifty three point three kilonewton meter, which is lesser than this value. So the slab is safe in flexure. Next is a check for ultimate shear strength. The ultimate shear strength of the reinforced concrete deck slab is checked as per IRC one one two ten point three dot two page number eighty eight. So here VRDC is equal to point one two K AT row one FCK rest two point three three into BW into D. All the terminologies will get from the IRC one one two page number eighty eight. Now the K value. So K is equal to one plus under root of two hundred divided by D. So as D value is two twenty, so K is equal to one plus two hundred divided by two twenty. The value is one point nine five three. And rho is equal to 
ASL divided by BW into D which should be less than 0.02 so ASL is the AST provided so we'll keep the value 754 divided by 1000 is the B into 220 is a depth so we'll get here 0.00343 which is less than 0.02 value so VRDC is equal to 0.12 into 1.953 which is K value into 80 into row 1 value as 0.00343 into FCK value is 25 raised to 0.33 into 1000 into 220. We'll get here 97.34 kilonewton which is a resisting shear strength. The applied shear strength value is 97.24 kilonewton. So hence here the slab is safe in the shear. So here we check the slab in the bending as well checked in the ultimate flexural strength and in the shear strength. Thank you.